Oh, hi there. Uh, good evening. Uh, I've been feeling sick for all day long. Uh, so I figured, you know, it'd be a good time to make a follow-up video on uh, Justin Bieber and his uh, Lyme disease, quote-unquote. Uh, some things that people might not know is that I don't know any of Justin Bieber's songs. I don't know what he does. I think he was in a movie. I had to look up and see how old he is on Google. I'm surprised he's 25. You know, it seems like that name has been around for a long time. You'd figure he'd be a little older. I thought he was at least 30. Um, and then I learned that uh, I know he was very young when he uh, got into the music scene. Uh, I didn't hear that he was 13 years of age when he was approached. And I think it was 2007 or 2008, something like that. I quickly looked it up with my five minutes worth of research um, as to when he actually got really popular and therefore made a lot of money. And the sycophants that were around him, if they were around him for that long... Who even knows if his mind is on this planet anymore? So I actually, I on my recommended list, there was another guy uh, who was talking about um, Justin Bieber's new song. And, you know, he didn't really say much about it, except that it was generic, boring, yada, yada, yada. And Justin Bieber probably did that on purpose because of the nature of the song. It's got creepy cringe written all over it. I couldn't even sit through the whole song. It's called Yummy. And it's actually a very creepy thing. It, for me, uh, the metaphorical pink fluffy thing coming to get you and probably kill you uh, is actually something that people should be afraid of. It's the Boba Fett thing uh, with the Sarlacc pit. It's scarier than it looks. And, uh, you know, I had heard a joke before that, you know, Justin Bieber should have to have sex with 50,000 women. Number one, that's too many fucking women. I don't care who you are. It's too many. You lose control instantaneously when you're in that kind of situation. You cannot lose control. Second of all, that would be assuming that they're all attractive. A lot of them wouldn't be. And that would come up with its own host of problems. Yeah, so, anyway, that aside, he, Justin Bieber has pink hair in this particular video, and no reasonable person, in my opinion, would have pink hair. Like, dyed pink hair. That's... I don't understand why anyone would want to dye their hair that color. I'm not really interested in dyeing my hair any color, but I most certainly wouldn't dye it pink. Uh, that goes without saying, or it should do anyway, but uh, I have to say that. Um, and then you start thinking about the creepy nature of being uh, in the celebrity universe and you know how that creepiness you may think it has nothing to do with average everyday citizens but it does like for example with snapchat they could put a dog's face on my face they could put pink hair on my hair while i'm making this video i can't do anything to stop them and you know i think justin bieber downplayed the importance of that song on purpose because he didn't like it he went along with it because he had to make a new song but i don't think he actually enjoyed making that one i could be proven wrong by somebody who actually did research but offhand you know the 30 or 45 odd seconds i watched it um i don't think he particularly enjoyed uh, making that video and um you know when you sign big contracts, quite often you get put in situations you don't want to be in. And I'm sure Justin Bieber doesn't want to be in that kind of situation. And 
also getting back to what I said in the previous video, if you start letting your political views be known or simply exercising who you are as a person, if you're worth money and you're in the um, upper echelons of society, that is enough for people within your own organization to turn against you and conspire against you. And you won't see them doing it, but they'll choreograph everything in front of you. Imagine, you know, you're a young person and you're still a young person at 25 and that's the only life you really know well is everyone, you know, being creepy around you. Uh, and that, you know, gets back to my point of where is his mind? At what point has, has it left Earth? Is he no longer m making decisions based on any rational sense of reasonable choices? Uh, who knows? Uh, you know, uh, because... The thing about people who make money off of somebody else is they usually like to continue to make money off of them indefinitely. And when people don't do what they want them to because they don't want to do it, I mean, it is somebody's life we're talking about. They should be allowed to make decisions like say, no, I don't want to do this. I'll go to do that, but I don't want to do this. You know, they make decisions for themselves. Uh, that is enough to really offend people. I mean, people know what happened to Britney Spears and her meltdown and a uh, handful of other celebrities as well. It is a creepy and sick world we live in. And uh, a sign of the times is that, uh, you know, people get put in situations that they don't want to be in. Um, I mean, there's so many ways in which someone could be fucked around with. And, you know, how can you defend yourself from this sort of onslaught of bad things that, or really annoying little things all the time? And, uh, you know, sometimes they need um, an insurance policy. And if you're sickly with something, like we'll call it Lyme disease, but it could be anything really uh, that Justin Bieber has, um, you know, therefore quality of life diminishes, therefore you gently get persuaded into things that you don't want to be a part of. And, uh, you know, when I say gently, I use that as kind of, a, you know, it's not really the inaccurate term, but it's a manipulative tool to make it a smooth transition. Uncomfortable for the person it's happening to completely, but, um, you know, they, they plan around it. And, you know, uh, you know, the illusion of free will, uh, the ability to make decisions for oneself, um, it's really prominent when there are people out there that will do manipulative things to keep you in whatever state you're in uh, for the purpose of convincing you to do things you don't want to do. I don't know, you know, like, if you don't think that's creepy, then there's something wrong with you. Something seriously wrong with you. And I don't care if it's about money or if it's about, uh, you know, people settling old scores or, you know, the sycophantic nature and what that all means. It is plain creepy. And I mean... That music video, maybe Justin Bieber enjoyed making it. Maybe he's a bit creepy.
But remember, he's only 25 years old, and he's been surrounded by people telling him what to do and prodding him and poking him for most of his, well, his entire adult life and his early teenage life. So it's like what I said before about the worst punishment someone could do on somebody is from day one, put them in front of a computer, and they only know what the computer tells them. That is terrifying because they can, you know, turn people into anything. I mean, once you become an adult, it doesn't really work. And once you kind of understand things like, you know, there are people out there that uh, they do perform witchcraft. And uh, poisoning people is one of the top things that witches do. And then they wonder why a couple of hundred years ago people were, you know, dunking them in water and burning them at the stake and things like that. It's not rocket science, people. There were reasons. <laughs> Maybe things could have been done a little bit differently, uh, but uh, that's not how it turned out. And no, it should be frowned upon in society. It is, but uh, not enough so that it actually stops these sort of things from happening. Um, it's like a perpetual state of insanity. And they want to keep it at such a level where they can prolong it for as long as possible, if not forever. And these people, they're, you know, they're not even people. They're, they're creatures. Not to say that everyone in Justin Bieber's circle is a bad person, creep, whatever. But a lot of them are going to be for sure. And if they're not, they're at least complacent to people that are creeps. Um, because, I don't know, maybe they're intimidated by them or something. Maybe they see some advantage in it for them. I don't know. Uh, and I'd prefer not to know. And the reason this is important for me is because I was poisoned by mental health. I'm still critically ill. Uh, I was sick today because of copious amounts of alcohol I drank. I would have been sick anyway. However, um, I don't enjoy the practice of, you know, just taking medication all the time. And, you know, like I said before, you, for a guy like Justin Bieber, he can't test everything. What is he going to do? Is he going to, you know, when he's having a salad... Is he going to, you know, whip out all his laboratory equipment to uh, examine every piece of lettuce and tomato and olive or whatever? Is he going to do that? Does he know how to? Does he have any uh, ability to do that? Does he have the time to learn how to do that? Obviously not. And there will always be people inhibiting people like Justin Bieber from doing things uh, that he may or may not want to do. Uh, and, you know, it, this is definitely, you know, a lot of people go, well, how can you compare the Dark Ages with today and modern internet and supposed um, standards of human decency? How can you compare it from 200 years ago when, you know, uh, if you stole a handkerchief, you were thrown in jail, if you're lucky? Uh, that's all in the past. There's no reason for people to be fucked up in the head right now. Especially when it comes to money. So anyway, that's, uh, my take on it. Is that, uh, you know, obviously Justin Bieber is much, 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 much more popular character than, uh, I would ever be. However, you know, you gotta, you gotta stand up for what's right, you know, sometimes. And I do believe that I'm in a negative cult of personality. I talked about that a few times. And, uh, yeah, I uh, genuinely feel bad for the guy. However, there's a lot of things he's done that I would never do. And so this YouTuber I watched, I don't even remember his name, he was suggesting going to his Instagram account or his Twitter, and it's like, I don't use Twitter. 
I don't use Instagram. I have no interest in that sort of stuff. Maybe it's something I should look into, I guess, if it's important enough, but I can't be bothered. It doesn't sound interesting to me. So, uh, whatever ailment Justin Bieber actually has, I hope it gets better and it's a smooth transition to a normal sort of atmosphere for him. Because the thing is, even if you don't like people who are in the upper echelon of society, what happens to them is important anyway. Because it's a sign that, hey, you know, what if that had happened to you? What if someone approached you when you're 13 years old and said, oh, you've got talent. Why don't you sign this big contract? And you were in that situation and no one cared. Simply making a point. If you're in that situation... It's all good and well to say, well, you know, he's worth millions of dollars. He gets to do this. He gets to do that. Um, And, you know, whatever happens to him is what happens to him. It's none of my business. But stop and think, what if that were you that that was happening to? And it was calibrated. So let's say you're not getting anything. Let's say you're you're not popular. You're, You're wildly unpopular. Uh, And that can happen to anybody. So, you know, you might have all the bad things and none of the bonuses that a guy like Justin Bieber would have. So, my point being is, it shouldn't happen to anyone. And it's a whole lot creepier than it looked. However, I'm going to tail this video off. Talk to you people later. Have a good one.